Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to yet another 6 p.m., 4 p.m., 1 p.m. FIFA 22 content video. And now in this one, once again, on a Saturday, we have Rule Breakers Team 2 mini release. So, um, again, this one's out a bit later. It tends to be the Saturdays where we get videos out a bit later than usual. But we do have, as you can see, Maxima Cornet, Kodus, and Klosterman there. So some very cool cards. Cornet looks very good. Klosterman, we all know, is going to be an absolutely insane center back. And then, already forgot the other one. <laughs> but we'll take a look at that real quick just to see what we've got going on. The item releases. So, it's Kodus. Yeah. Um, he's been leaked for a while. He's been leaked since Team 1 was, was released. Cornet was also leaked um, for a good while. Um, so, yeah. Very good cards there. Cornet, I can see a lot of people using. Now, card will get a lot of use. Kudus, not really going to get a lot of use, is he? Um, and then Klosterman will get a lot of use. Very, very big cards there. Um, first off, we'll take a look at objectives to see if we have anything new going on here um, as we go through. Do we have anything? I don't think we do. I don't think, I don't, I don't really want to expect anything. We would not have another league based player, would we? But this league, uh, yeah, no. Uh, if that happened, that would have been very weird. Um, but, excuse me, now on to the store, um, what's going on here, what kind of promos we have today, we have 15 25k packs and 10 50k packs once again, um, so they just re-released the same packs, but some very good packs there, if you want to have yourself a little cheap pack, I really don't recommend it, because, yeah, don't waste your money on this, I know from experience, do not do it, um, Road to Glory is definitely the way, um, but, now, on to SPCs. Let's see if we have any SPCs. This is something I don't know. Do we have an SPC card? We do. So we'll go back to Parejo. I just want to see if we have any type of pack here. Um, let's see. Okay, we don't have a pack, so we don't need to worry about any of that kind of stuff. So we can take a look at Parejo here, who, as you can see immediately, had a massive pace upgrade. Now, what did he get downgraded in? Um, I'm just going to check football. I'm not going to show you guys yet. We'll do that at the end of the video. Oh, he got a passing down. That's not that bad. Consider so he's three star, four star. Okay, three star skill moves, four star weak foot. The three star skill moves is a bit poor considering he's more of an attacking midfielder. Um, as you can see with those stats, he can play the likes of like a left or right center mid for you because he has a four star weak foot. So he'll be okay on either side, preferably the right hand side though, and like a right center mid in the four one two and two. Um, or even a right cam and a 4 2 2 2, which is where I would play him um, if I had to. Pace, 90 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. Shooting is very good. Passing is obviously downgraded, but still very good. Now, the agility and balance is not the best. However, an engine on this card will change that. He's got decent stamina, and he's got decent defending and physical stats. Now, he doesn't look too bad, to be honest. 88 rated. What's the price? If this is overpriced, that's going to be a little bit insane. An 83. Okay. You know, I don't think it's that bad, personally. I don't think that's that bad. That's around 90K. That's around 90K. I'm going to check this right here. We'll head over to the footbin real quick just to check it out. Um, boom. Right here. Boom, boom, boom. That out. Overlay, boom and boom. So, what are we saying here? We have Parejo, 90k. Yep, exactly. Um, now engine on him. Look at that. Th that's that's a very good card you have here with an engine, or even a basic, to be fair. But I think an engine you need that agility and balance. That's one of the most crucial things on this game. But we can see what are people. We'll check out Corne and Klosterman and them first. Cornets are on 116k. Fair. I can see that. Klossman's going to be about 320, I would guess. 235, to be fair. Not, not too bad. Um, stats are looking, again, relatively nice. I think an engine on this card is probably the play. Yeah, the path. Everything there is like what he needs. So, there you go with that. Um, and then Kodus, nothing too special here. 13k. To be fair, if I were to pack him, he'd go into the Edivise squad untradeable. So, that's the only reason I would take him. Because I don't really have a lot of special cards on Trade Bolt from the Edward's A. But 
Parejo now. Let's take a look at what people are thinking. That's what I was, yep. Oh, wait, is there, no, that's from yesterday. That's from yesterday. That's what I was thinking. He has a very good upvote percentage. And I highly agree with that. For some reason, I was thinking that it was going to be a little bit like this Verratti. Because I don't think this Verratti is necessarily, actually, actually. When, when, you take in, when you take into consideration this. So, there's this Verratti card. Um, the main plus with this Verratti card is the fact that he's going to be getting really good links to the likes of Messi, Marquinhos, Kimpembe, um, Hakimi, those kinds of players. So, that's why Verratti is so good. And he has unreal dribbling, which is crucial in this game. Decent defending, good physicals, good passing. Obviously, the pace is the problem. Now... Parejo, being Spanish from La Liga, easy to link. He's got the pace, he's got shooting, he's got the dribbling, he's got the passing, and he's got the stamina. So, comparing these two cards, 90k, 220, I think, as you can see with the uplifts and downvotes, it's pretty obvious Parejo is definitely the better option. I don't think you can release this Verratti card for that, like, this much here but then release this Parejo card for about 40k cheaper. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me, really. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all we got today, right? If we take a look, that's pretty much all we got. Um, SBC is nothing. There was nothing in objectives. Although we didn't get much, it's a very, very good like content day from EA's perspective. Um, I think the players they chose were very, very good. Um, Parejo, it's always that, that walkout that you hate to see. He's still going to be that walkout you hate to see because he's an SBC. But at least he has a usable card in FIFA. It seems that he never actually, to be fair, he never actually gets one of the special cards. You, we've seen a lot this FIFA. EA kind of like re-releasing cards that we've seen before. Um, there's like the likes of Harry Kane last year and Suarez this year, like very similar players in FIFA that they give this stuff to. But Parejo has always been a one that's had that terrible, terrible pace and has never gotten a special card, but we actually got one this year. He's gotten special cards, but in forms so where there's no, not really any improvement or a team of the season that still has like 71 pace, so it's not that good. Um, so to be fair, decent, 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 decent. Um, and yeah, um, that's pretty much it, to be honest. We don't have too much else to go over in this one. Um, obviously, Cornet around 100, 130k. Klosterman is around 230, and Cody's is 13k. Parejo, 90k. Um, Cornet, if you pack him, I think it'd be a very usable left back for the Prem. Um, Klosterman, 100% of player you'd want to pack, and then Kodus. I guess if you pack them untradeable, fodder, or just an objective player to have. That's it with that, pretty much. Um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the 6 p.m. content video, let me know. Leave a like, comment, all that kind of good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next one very soon tomorrow. I'll see you then.